Hey guys, come with us to our night out to Novikov with the little one. So we parked up in St. John's Wood which cost us around 20 quid for the day and this is us walking to the station. We've got the little one in the pram over here, his first time out. So we've just parked up in St. John's Wood. I normally use this parking space um, when I'm coming to London so it's outside of the congestion zone and we take the underground to our location. So we're off to Novikov in Mayfair so come follow us. So we took the underground from St. John's Wood to Green Park and it was only around two to three stops. The one thing I would say if you're coming from St. John's Wood and you have a pram like us there isn't any disabled access there's no elevators so we had to dismantle the pram take it piece by piece and kind of go down the escalators and down into the underground station. Luckily when we were on the underground uh, people were uh, kind enough to move and let us um, occupy the area where the prams are supposed to be. So Green Park luckily has a lot of disabled access so it wasn't very hard for us to get there. So we exited the park, turned right and you can see the Ritz over here. So we just crossed the road and it's literally a couple of minutes walk from Green Park Station to Novikov. So when we got inside, there was a really nice calm vibe to it. There were orchids on the side, a real Asian vibe here with the dark woods and the bamboo. They were kind enough to give us a seat towards the end with a lot of space for our um, pram. We got the um, a menu for the Asian side and you can see it's quite an extensive menu and they were luckily they had the halal next to everything that was. So there's something there for everybody. You have dim sum, you have your sides. You have the common stuff like a tempura, and you've got something from the robata grill, and you've got the duck and their prized king crab leg at £80 a leg, which is, I think, is quite ridiculous. But um, we ended up going for the buns. I would really recommend these um, Chinese chicken buns. They were really pillowy soft, they were crispy on the outside, and really flavorful in the middle. We also got the salmon, uh, sorry, the tuna. The spicy tuna was kind of lacking I would say it needs to be a bit more spicy and I was thinking that the Otoro would be a bit more fatty this was kind of the star this was the rock shrimp tempura with a ponzu dressing I would say this was one of the best starters that we had it was glass thin and really nice what did you think of the starters quite nice really what about nice. the, the buns were really nice how about the tempura? Really nice tempura yeah. Okay Shaz, how are the starters? I thought the bao buns were really good. They were really light, normally not very light. They're crispy at the bottom. And uh, normally when you go to these places, they, um, they're a bit under seasoned, but the inside was really nice to see. Yeah. Rock shrimp were like glass, they were really crispy. Um, the only thing, the um, spicy tuna rolls, I thought they were a bit mid everything else really now onto our mains I got the Wagyu sirloin and this is it here it was a little bit disappointed for 90 pounds this was all you get and it was cold and we had to send it back and by the time it came around my sides were a bit cold as well so that was a real negative my wife got the sweet and sour chicken which was really good I don't normally go for it but it was really good served with the side of big white rice <laughs> So they, they brought um, the Wagyu in cold, so I had to send it back. Uh, having some of the seasonal veg, which is really nice. This food. As you can see, you can try to use a butter knife to, to cut it. Nice flavour, really buttery. So our bill came up to 250 quid. All in all, I would say this is probably a 7 out of 10. I don't think it's worth the money. And tell us what you think. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks guys.